We are putting together our habitats for our roly polies or pill bugs. We're going to talk about the different materials you might have around your house and what is best for the pill bugs. So a lot of you might have cardboard around your house. If you read your article, you know that cardboard is something that the roly poly can eat when it gets wet. So a cardboard box wouldn't be a good idea because then the roly poly is going to try to eat it. Another one is a plastic container that is dark colored. We want the roly poly to be able to have light coming into its habitat, so a dark colored plastic probably isn't going to be our best bet. Okay, I have just a regular plastic container that is see through, it's kind of large on the bottom, so when I put my materials in here, um, it doesn't take up the whole container and the roly poly can move about. Okay, however, I'm not going to use this lid because when I press it down, it seals in the air. The roly poly is not going to be able to get a lot of air from the outside. So that's where we bring in our plastic wrap. We have plastic wrap that we can put over the top of it. And then we're going to want to poke holes in it so that the air is still able to get inside of the container. I'm going to start by getting some soil. So I want to look for some like weeds and leaves. That's going to be a good base, uh, something that the roly polies can eat. Just pull some out of here. I can also get some things like bark. Um, or even sticks. I also have some um, weeds and things that I pulled out the other day, so I've just been collecting them, some dried leaves, so I'm going to put those in here as well. I don't want to make it too full um, so that the roly-poly can still move about in here. Um, so for today, we're just going to do the building part, and then next time I'm going to show you where we're going to find the roly-polies um, and what kind of food that they eat.